The worst feeling during an emergency is that feeling of not having control, especially when it comes to our finances. According to a survey done by Bankrate, 44% of Americans can't pay an unexpected $1,000 emergency expense because they don't have it. They would instead turn to borrowing money, whether that be from friends and family or from the bank, so taking out a personal loan, essentially going further into debt. The good thing is that we can prevent this with a little bit of education and some planning. In this video, I'm going to go over what an emergency fund is, why it's important, and the step-by-step -step process for what you can do to start building your emergency fund today, even if it's just with $5. An emergency fund is basically a savings account set aside specifically for unexpected expenses or financial emergencies. It's an account that you add money into and build up over time. It acts as a safety net, helping you to cover things like unexpected medical bills. Maybe you had a leak in your roof that needs to be taken care of, or one which is very, very common these days is maybe Maybe you got laid off from your corporate job. It's a really, really tough economy out there right now and an even tougher job market. Now, the last thing you wanna do if you get laid off is then have to worry about how are you going to pay your mortgage or your rent or your bills for groceries. Most people in this situation would resort to taking out a personal loan, AKA taking on more debt, which we know is dangerous because it gets even harder and harder to pay off with the accruing interest over time. This is exactly what we want to avoid, okay? We want to avoid having to borrow money from anyone and taking on even more debt and having an emergency fund will allow you to do that. Experts say you should ideally have an emergency fund built up to last you about three to six months. And that three to six months should be comprised of enough money to cover your living expenses for that time. So let's say that your rent, your insurance, your food, your utilities cost you, let's say around $4,000 a month. That means that to cover three months worth of expenses, so for a three month emergency fund, you would need to save about $12,000. Now, if you can work up to building a fund that covers six months, this is even better. This way, if you lose your job, you know that you're covered for a few months and you can look for a new job in peace. Now that you know what an emergency fund is and why it's so important, let's get into how you can actually start building your emergency fund. By the way, if you're getting any value at all from this video, it would really mean a lot to me if you went ahead and hit that red subscribe button. This way you will be notified anytime I upload similar videos. Step number one is to create and evaluate your budget. And the reason why I put this at number one is because it'll give you a snapshot of where you currently are at financially. Budgeting can be really simple. It does not need to be anything complicated. It can literally be just you taking out a piece of paper and a pen and writing stuff out or just writing stuff up in your notes on your phone. A good starting point is to look at how much money you're bringing in. So how much money every month are you bringing in from your job or investments or side hustles, whatever it is. And the second part of that is then look at what are your expenses every single month. So how much is your rent or mortgage? How much do you pay in insurance? How much do you pay in gas and utilities and food and going out with friends? All of that. Write this all down so that now you have an idea of how much money you have going in and how much money you have going out. You can also take this as an opportunity to see where you might be overspending and where you can kind of cut back and reduce some of your expenses. Maybe you realize that you actually don't need three streaming services for television and you just need one or two. So you can cut that third one out and save like 20 bucks a month. So for example, let's say you do this whole budgeting exercise and you conclude that you bring in $6,000 a month from your corporate job and your expenses are equal to about $3,000 a month. So if you wanna start an emergency fund that's going to last you at least three months, then you need to build that up to about $9,000, which brings me to step number two, which is set a savings goal. And again, this can be done exactly with how what we just went through, figuring out your income and then your expenses, and then just multiplying that by three to figure out how much money you need to save to cover you for three months. And if you want to build up to six months, you can do that as well. Now, listen, I know that this emergency fund number might sound really unattainable and like a very large lump sum, and it is. But don't worry. Just know that building an emergency fund takes a lot of time. It takes several months and even years. So don't stress out about it. The important thing is, is that you have a plan in place and you follow it consistently. Step number three, now that you have budgeted and you have your savings goal, step number three is to open up a savings account. Now I say open up a separate savings account because it's important to have this se separate from all of your other funds. You do not want to dip into this account 
you want to pretend it's just not even there and just know that it's completely off limits. Pretend like it doesn't even exist. You can usually just open up a savings account online, but if you do have some questions or you're not really sure what kind of account to open, then you can totally go into your local bank branch Um, Some of them might require you to schedule an appointment ahead of time, but you can talk to a financial advisor for free and they will help you kind of sort out and open up a new account. So you can definitely do that if you have some more questions. Step number four, this one is so important. Step number four is to automate your savings. So you have your new savings account opened up and now you wanna make sure that you have money going in there. Um, And there's a couple ways that you can do this. First off, you wanna figure out how much money you actually wanna put into the savings account on a monthly basis or on a paycheck by paycheck basis. Let's say you want to contribute a hundred dollars per paycheck to this new account and you get two paychecks per month. You can either set it up with your employer in a way where you tell your employer that, hey, I want X amount of money to be sent to this bank account every paycheck and I want this amount of money to be sent to this account every single every single paycheck. Or you can set up an automatic transfer with your bank. So let's say that you get the money into your account from your employer. Now you can set up an automated transfer between your accounts. This requires you to just go into your bank login portal and schedule a transfer between your accounts. You can set the amount and you can set it to how often you want it to occur. This way it's out of sight. It's out of mind. It's all just automated and it's happening in the background and you won't even see this money. This money will not even come to you. It will just go straight into your emergency fund account and and you will slowly be building this up in the background. Step number five, now this might be one of the hardest steps, but step number five is to stay consistent with this whole model and stay consistent with stay consistent with it for months and years to come. As I said earlier, building an emergency fund is hard and it's a large lump sum, but it's very important and it takes time. But the important thing is, is that you have a plan And that's exactly the plan that we just laid out in this video. And honestly, if you have the automated payment set up, then you should be completely fine, good to go. It's happening in the background and you don't really even have to do anything besides setting it up that initial time. Some other side notes slash tips I have on building an emergency fund is to make sure you are tracking your progress uh, and increasing the amount of money that you're contributing to the emergency fund over time. For example, let's say that you got a new job or you got promoted and now you're making more money. So instead of contributing just $100 towards every uh, from every paycheck towards the account, Maybe you can increase it to $150 now, maybe even 200. Also, if you paid off any debt recently, like if you paid off your car, you now have a few hundred extra bucks a month. Um, So now you can take that money and just start contributing it to the emergency fund. And this way you will be building up the emergency fund even faster. I actually have seven other ways that you might be losing money or money might be slipping through the cracks and you wanna make sure that you are not losing this money so that you can do important things with it, like contributing it to your emergency fund. But that's exactly what I go over in detail in this video right here. So I highly suggest you check check that video out next. I will catch you in the next video.